Hi, I'm going to record a little demo of how to create a TOPM method in Mettler Toledo's Star E software for thermal analysis. Um, to do that, you need the method window. You cannot do this in the simpler routine editor. Uh, to open your method window, you go to the main menu, choose session, method window, and then you'll get a window just like this here. Uh, you need to choose the TA technique as DSC, sample holder, whatever pan type you're using. The segment type for a normal measurement is just a temperature segment, but uh, if you're going to do topem, uh, you need to choose topem as the segment type. Um, when you do that for the first time, it'll tell you it's changing your data collection rate to 0.1 seconds because um, it needs to acquire data at a faster rate in order to process it for the topem uh, deconvolution. So uh, next, normally you do a temperature ramp. Um, so I'll just hit dynamic segment and you enter a start temperature and end temperature, maybe 25 to 200. And I normally, uh, you can go at one or two degrees a minute, you can go slower, uh, but one or two degrees a minute is typical. Uh, two degrees a minute I think is the fastest it'll let you go. There may be some more info in the help file. Um, but you can read about that there. Um, there are some instructions there too for creating a topo method. And then, but I leave the defaults pulse height of one Kelvin. And if you click more, there's also a pulse width of 15 to 30 seconds. That's standard for the uh, 40 microliter pans, uh, which is the most common pan type. Uh, contact Mettler Toledo if you do need uh, suggested parameters for other pans, but 99% of the time, those parameters are going to be okay. And uh, you just hit okay. And now you have a top of method. Uh, it tells you. You can change your purge gas if you want by double clicking here and changing to nitrogen and entering a flow rate uh, if you like. If you're using a gas controller, it'll uh, the gas controller will send the gas uh, and the flow rate that you specify. If you're not using a gas controller, you're probably controlling it manually with flow meters anyway, so it doesn't matter what you put there so much. Uh, but it'll tell you that the pulse is 1 Kelvin, which is plus or minus 0.5 and the pulse width is 15 to 30 seconds. Segment one is going from 25 to 200 at one degree a minute. You can add a cooling segment if you want. So say 200 back to 20 at one degree a minute. So now I have a two segment uh, top of method. And uh, now all you have to do is save it. Actually, I don't need that second segment, so I'm just gonna cut it out. It's highlighted already, so I just hit cut. I want to save this menu, this method. Just hit File, Save As. Uh, I'll call it. You can call it whatever you want. Top them, uh, twenty to two hundred at one, and then I'll put one uh, k, one for one Kelvin pulse height, and fifteen to thirty seconds, and that is. The defaults will work for almost everybody. Uh, there are very, very rare specific situations where you need to work something different, but always try that. Try it this way first. And if you got a question about it, send us send Mettler Toledo the data, um, and we can help you decide if you uh, need to change parameters. But if you're just looking at a typical polymer glass transition, uh, crystallization, something like that, um, these parameters will work fine. All right, once you save the file, you're done, and then you can run it just like you would any other method. Uh, that's all for now, and uh, thanks for listening.